this is a serious moment, uh, again, for the country. Uh, we cannot allow cases to continue rising. Uh, those who say that we should just allow this virus to do what it does, uh, the so-called herd immunity argument, I, I don't agree with that. We know this virus can take life, particularly of older, vulnerable people, but we also know this virus can have serious health implications for younger, healthier people. It's not a virus we can be complacent about allowing people to get. Uh, so this is a moment uh, for us to take action. Uh, but secondly, and it's a point I made earlier on, we must understand that we are in a different and better position than we were in, in March. Cases are not rising as fast. We have a better idea of the settings that pose the main risk of transmission. And Test and Protect, despite the volume of cases we've had recently, is managing well. And because of this, and despite the temptations for shorthand, we shouldn't frame the decisions we face this week in the language of lockdown or not lockdown. Implementing further measures now is very much, I hope, about controlling this virus while avoiding the need for another full-scale lockdown of the type that we had to impose in March.